uh, Chris Bass and my name's Matthew and what we're up to is we're trying to construct a rudimentary neutral main geography piece of kit. What we've got over here is we've got the bottom end of the Van de Graaff, which is, uh, extends over two floors and G-Trolls come down this evacuated flight tube, hit a beryllium target and then the task that Christos has undertaken is converting those fast neutrons into slower neutrons that give much better discrimination between materials. So what Christos has set up is a boron trifluoride tube which is connected to electronics outside and what we're trying to do at the moment is corroborate that with our existing neutron detector. This one's already got a moderator on it, so it's not so sensitive to the slow neutrons, whereas this one is sensitive to the slow neutrons, but not to the fast neutrons. And just at the moment, we're having a little bit of a, 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 a struggle because our, our meetings aren't as linear as we thought they should be, and what we're trying to do is find out the cause of that. This is the actual moderator block, which is actually a tank of water. Uh, the, the tube lies in the water, so the action takes place inside the, the tank, and so the high energy neutrons created are slowed down in the water, and the beam is polymerized through this conical polymerator here, which becomes it is connected on the tank. And hopefully here what we what we expect to get at this plane here is thermal neutrons, so we can do a radiography. So that's the water moderator with the neutron target. Yeah, this is what the, actually the neutrons are created below the tube, just at, at a distance from the tube. Right. And, and directed into the polymer. Right, so, so the uh, collimators on the, on the left hand side. Yeah, that's uh, in the inlet of the collimator. Right, and you will be collecting neutrons from the volume beneath the, the tube volume, there. Yeah, beneath the tube. Right, okay. And we're going to change the, the vertical distance of the, the collimator and the tube, so we're going to lower it actually and try and see where, which is the best position. Right, interesting. So we've, we've just been explaining how we get the neutrons into a form that will give us some kind of discrimination between materials and thicknesses. And then what we eventually want to do is, uh, is produce pictures from a script that lent to us by uh, an external rad side. Inside here, what we wish to put in here is instead of x-ray film, We've got scintillator plates, so the neutrons hit these and then it glows in normal light that cameras can see. So that remains in there. There's a mirror in here, reflects the light, and then on here we have to put a very sensitive integrating camera because the light levels will be particularly low. And the reason that it's shifted is that by having it shifted by about a foot, then hopefully we'll be able to shield the cameras in the direct powerful radiation, the neutrons and gammas. That can be protected and the light that it produces will be able to get to it. And there we go, neutral radio on the field, which I promised us in last year. Nice and hot in there. Eh?